everybody and welcome back to BetMap. Today we'll begin the journey on the digestive system anatomy and we'll begin with the tongue. Okay, first of all we need to figure out what tongue actually is. So basically it's just a mass of muscle which is covered in a membrane. Now the anatomy of the tongue is fairly simple. It does have some elements but the basics are there. So it has a body, then it has a root that keeps it in place, and then the free end, the apex. Now the tongue has to be mobile to help to ship food in the mouth and help when swallowing, and it needs to stay in place at the same time, so that's why it is attached to the heart apparatus and to the bottom jaw. And then the mobility of it uh, consists of different fibers of different muscles, which creates a one big mass of muscle. And that's the main reason why tongue is so mobile and is able to contribute so many movements. Now these are the main elements, which I already mentioned. So first we have the body which is the meatiest and the longest part. Then we have the apex, which is the free end of the tongue, and the root that attaches to the bottom of the mouth. Next up, we have the musculus lingualis proprius, which is the main muscle of the tongue. And we have three types of fibers. We have the longitudinal ones, which are superficial and deep. Then we have the transverse ones and the perpendicular ones. Now there are some more elements that will help you figure out where tongue is located. I mean, that's a fairly simple question, but where it attaches to, I'm not going to get into detail, but you can stop the video and pinpoint these uh, numbers on your um, page or on your computer or on screenshot. Uh, one other element that I'd like to mention is the torsum, dorsum of the tongue or the back of the tongue, which is basically uh, the top uh, surface of the tongue that is um, up against the roof of the mouth. Now, uh, the reason why our tongues function the way they do uh, is because of papilla. Um, and they have two main jobs on the tongue. They are either uh, work as taste buds or they help with swallowing and picking up the feed. So here we have quite a few of them, in total six, and there are different types. So we're going to talk about each one, one by one. So first we have the mechanical papillae which are rough, they are hard, they're cornified, and they actually help to take and shift the feed. First we have the filiform papilla or papilla filiformes, which uh, look almost like hair, and they cover the back of the tongue or uh, dorsum of the tongue, which is this surface right here. Um, and for one animals, uh, they're softer, and for others, they almost represent needles. Let's say for cats, they're actually really sharp, and they help not only to pick up water and feed, but also to groom themselves. Next up, we have the conical papilla. Uh, they represent columns and has the medulla of connective tissue. Um, now this is how they look and how uh, where they are located. And there um, they cover uh, the inside of the lips uh, and cheeks sometimes.
Then we have the lentiform papillae, which looks, uh, which look almost like lentils. Uh, they're big and they're flat and usually are located between the conical papillae, which we already discussed. So here we have the conical papillae and here we have the lentiform papillae. And you can see the location is pretty similar. Next up we have the foliate papillae, which is the first of the gustatory papillae which uh, help taste the feed. Now animals don't have the same taste buds as we do. Uh, some animals are better at picking up, let's say, sour uh, tastes, uh, some sweet, some um, salty. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. But for now, <laughs> these are the papillae that are uh, required for taste recognition. So uh, these ones represent leaves or plants um, and they can be found in horse and pigs and barely, and barely ever in cattle. Um, and this is how they look, uh, looking through, through a, a microscope. Here we have the Valata papilla, which are larger and they represent a circle with a grove. Um, and this is where they are located. Uh, usually there are very few of them on the tongue. So they're not like that recognized, but still they have the purpose and they are there. So you need to know them. But certainly not the least, we have the fungiform papillae. These ones are my favorite because they look like mushrooms under a microscope. Uh, so if you're interested, definitely check out Tongue Histology, um, either on YouTube or different resources, or you can comment down below and say that you want a video on this. So uh, they, are, they are also uh, for taste recognition and they are located here. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we have literature and other sources. Um, next video on the tongue will be about uh, the differences between species regarding the tongue. So definitely press subscribe button and comment down below if you want that video to appear. Bye now. Have a great day.